ten. The start of the second half and uh, Florent Gibois from Korea. Pressure's on France now. They don't always stay cool either. But can Hong Kong keep them out? Anthony Pujol goes into contact, turnover ball. Robinson goes all the way. He's under the post and he's the hero of the moment. Keith Robinson. Well, premature 21st birthday celebrations for him. 19 to 7. Someone forgot to tell the South then that this kid's 21 tomorrow because they started celebrating last night. And the turnover was the crucial part to this try. Conversion is good. And Hong Kong lead by 14 points, but there's the turnover. They got it back to Robertson who hit it at depth. And then he went through the gap and he got past the hands of Vincent Wu. Oh, that's just the tonic that Rodney McIntosh asked for. Well, he made his debut here a year ago, played the Hong Kong and Adelaide tournaments. That was his debut. And he's made his mark very, very quickly, this young man. 21-7, still five and a half minutes to go. Uh, just looking, you know, down the uh, history, the archives. Wins have come 24% of the time, but this the count is one of their best. They've won 22 games out of 90 they played in previous tournaments. He's in a come by France, his possession. And oh, the disbelief. Thierry Janicek. Well, I, I think it's just as well the players aren't in close contact with him, I think. I heard that when he started coaching, he had a mop of hair, an afro. <laughs> just looking back, I mean, they've had the... Uh, Wins against uh, Portugal, they won the Shield in Singapore, beat Korea last year, 1912, but all due respect to Korea, France would be a bigger scalp. Five minutes to play. Too low, too long, hanging on. Time enough for France, if they have the will. Jibouin to Dalinia, Dalinia chased by Chambers. No, it's not, it's by... Uh, What's the, what's the call here? Surely double movement, he was caught short of the line. Consultation with the uh, in-goal touch judge. Local, uh, ref local society referee. Big call this one. Carlo Damasco. You heard it. TJ said double move. She'll be given the key to the city tonight. It was a good decision too, Nigel. I'm not being smart here. Definitely was short of the line. And then just couldn't help but try and stick the arm out. And what about the tackle from Rowan Vardy? Here we go. He has been unbelievable in the second half as well. Look, he's caught there, stopped there, and then he reaches again. Close call. I've seen those given. It's... Toss a coin and whether that one comes down your way or not. Where did he actually stop or was the momentum continuous? Well, if France lose, that will be a talking point with Thierry Janicek, I think. But it stays 21 7, that two full scores adrift. And now it's Pujol. Oh, was it a mistake again? A little knock on. Stops the uh, momentum of the attack. The France have to put in. Hong Kong team with four minutes left, Nigel, and a thing that uh, has stood out for me is they haven't missed first up tackles. They've made sure that they have hit France either before or just on the finish line. France again, all the possession, but none of the scores at the moment. Vincent Roux to Rodrigue. Rodrigue smooth running, glides over the surface. That's a very silky try. He's the new man in the squad keeps their hopes alive we've still the last quarter to be played out it's 21 14 and on cue as I was saying the first up tackles have been made for 10 and a half minutes we're into the last three Time off. and this is where the concentration levels need to be at 100 percent three minutes 
three minutes and three seconds. Crisis point for both. But France are a try and conversion behind. As Hong Kong head for a great result and a first ever win against France. Just to emphasise the point, in those previous meetings, Hong Kong have only ever scored one try, five points. So that tells you, gives you some measure of the step up. Ricky Chuk and a big dunk tackle there on uh, Colin Bisley, but they've retained possession. That's about coolness and concentration and focus. Rowan Varty, nice take that was too, a difficult one for Mark Wright. This time, Andrew Chambers, still going backwards, oh, some nervousness in the crowd, who's and out. Colin Bisley here, in a spot of bother, offloads to Robertson. France piling in, containing Hong Kong, but they need ball, not containment. The turnover is imminent. France's ball now. Advantage for not releasing against Hong Kong. Take it quickly, danger left, at the middle, does Juvan make a big error there? An overlap on the plate. Now what is it? Not ten, this time Labat. Crowd holding their breath. Cross kick is clever, is it going to travel outside? It's not, it's infield in the in goal area and the try is given to Simon Satu. But it's a big butt as well. They need the conversion to draw level. And this is wide out. Well, he just wanted to make sure that he kept the ball. And what about the vision and the kick coming from the butt? It bounced one way, then the other, out towards the touchline. Had to get it down, but this is the crucial conversion with just seconds remaining. Well, the man who's played the try, Simon Sato, Oh, it's a good effort. It's very, very close. It's over. The drop goal of the day. France level with 30 seconds to play. Well, it's a bit like kissing your sister. Hong Kong will be feeling like that at the moment. They've done everything but win. Different style. Keith Robertson. Let's go, let's go, go. Have they won last? Just in the tail, this game. It's uh, Ball, a free ball here with the penalty to Hong Kong, Robertson. Well, it would be a fairy tale ending now. There's the hooter, this is the last play. They've got to keep ball in hand. Police, oh, oh, It's still with Hong Kong. It's away by Anthony Haynes then in the replacement. Trying to set Robertson free. Oh, it's gone forward. It's going to end. The crowd are on their feet because they haven't heard the whistle but it has gone from that forward ball and it is a dramatic uh, tie this one but inevitably with that terrific performance there's a shade of disappointment for Rod McIntosh a sense perhaps of partial relief for Thierry Janacek but that was a terrific contest wasn't it? Yeah, it had everything and both teams are throwing everything into it quite appropriate that it should finish all tied up